Right, um, it's to Greke, right? I'm a little bit pissed off, right? I'm a little bit pissed off because I've just scrolled back down, sponsored, sponsored Facebook and it's fucking algorithms and it's fucking pile of shit way of running, right? Let's not forget my account's been hacked. Facebook, perfectly all right with identity theft and fraud, mate. Not a fucking problem. Does not give two shiny shits. Pedophilia, Facebook does not give two shiny shits. Like, literally, you want to rob somebody, you want to... Somebody's kids. Literally, Facebook does not give a shit because Facebook doesn't employ people. Apparently, it does. Uh, but we will get into that if anything comes basically there's things in the works and if the things in the works come through i'll be able to tell you whether anybody works at facebook or not but for now let's just say that they don't right um save the children uk right have posted and it's sponsored it's paid for by save the children uk and it's it's a quote from the observer the child was pretending to eat out of an empty lunchbox because they did not qualify for free school meals and did not want their friends to know there was no food at home. Heartbreaking. Fucking heartbreaking, mate. And, and indicative of the state that we find the world in today. Especially our country. I can't speak for the rest of the world, actually. England. The country I live in, like, literally, that is, it's rife, right? Kids not being able to eat, people choosing between heat or eat is rife. Not in Westminster, not in Buckingham Palace, in everyday people's houses. They're not there. They're cushy, mate. They don't even fucking know what it feels like to be cold unless they're walking to their limo anyway right so it's like what would you suggest we do about that poor little kid that is pretending to eat from an empty lunchbox because they're embarrassed because this country has let them down what should we do should we march on parliament should we fucking hang the rich no, no, according to Save the Children, we should donate once a month. Donate once a month. And this is one of the reason, one part of the reason we are fucked is education. A huge part of the reason. reason. Because as soon as we can wipe our own, our own arse, they take us away from our parents and they sit us in a neat little row and they make us wear a uniform and they say, you say, yes sir, no sir. And if you ask nicely, we'll let you relieve your bladder. Alright? So that's one way that they, that they do it. They... But there are so many other ways that they just coerce us to basically. But education is the main one. We're taught from the age of four that this is the only way that the world can be run. That, that literally kings and queens deserve it all. We're mere plebs and we literally, it's, it's our honour to wave a flag. And the queue proved that we believe that education just as we were fucking educated to do. From the age of fucking four, sooner these days, four is just when you're in it, big fucking style. But like, obviously we've got preschool now. It's like, we our kids stand no chance. If we take away their education and put it in the hands of mothers who actually give us... Uh, the mothers who give a shit, basically, we are run by a patriarchy who functions for their own fucking benefit. And they, from the day that you start school, tell you, 
ingrain in the freshest parts of your brain that if you want to change something, you throw money at it. These little kiddies from the age of four, if you pay a pound, you can wear your own clothes to school for one day. What does... Look, just look inside your heart. Look inside the logic of it. Of telling a little child that doesn't know what the fuck is going on. That's being told that kings and queens are, are the dog's bollocks. And you couldn't even possibly come close to being as special as they are. You're telling them you can be yourself in public for one day but you've got to pay for the privilege and where does that money go do you think that save the children uk doesn't have a ceo that's earning massive amounts of money like literally we have got this turned upside down the way that society that that everything is wrong is literally for the benefit of them bastards. And them bastards are just getting wealthier. And this whole coronavirus bollocks was literally a massive transfer of wealth. Just from the vaccine alone, it made the vaccine made nine, and this was, I mean, this was what, six months ago that I saw this, nine new billionaires. Nine new billionaires and hundreds of thousands of people going into poverty to create those nine new billionaires. We need to look at the numbers, which obviously school breeds us to not do, because f as soon as you're at puberty, mate, when the last thing on your fucking mind is when all you want to do is know who you are as a human being. They're like, nah, Pythagoras, Triceratops, fucking, like, I don't know. I, I purposefully have algebra. That's a good one. Um, but literally, it's like, let's just throw numbers at them that they can't fucking fathom because then when you leave school, you're like, fucking hell, mate. Couldn't stand numbers at school. Leave that in the hands of the experts. How many of them are there? How many maths experts are on this fucking planet that you leave your fucking financial decisions to because school taught you to just fucking step away? As soon as you walked out of that school door, at the end of your fucking learning journey, you're like, mate, I'm glad not to be having to fucking do them sums again. Fuck that for a game of soldiers. Leave it in the hands of the experts. Do you know what? The experts ain't all Carol Vorderman, mate. No, they're people like fucking Matt Wanksock. Like, literally, I know he ain't a maths dude, but these are the professionals that you leave your decisions to. To people like Boris Johnson, to people like Chris Graylin, to people like fucking Nadine Doris or whatever her name is. Like, literally, these are the professionals when we walk out of school and say, leave it to the, leave it in the hands of the professionals. They're the professionals that you're leaving your world in the hands of. And from the age of four, they grudge you your whole fucking life for specifically that purpose specifically so that when you walk out of school you go wash my hands of that nested bit don't fucking bring that near me no more because it makes no fucking sense whatsoever guess what it don't make any sense to them either they have a different job every fucking fortnight mate it's like a health secretary one day fucking education secretary and literally this is how much it means to them People are paid to be in jobs. Nothing fucking more. The only people who make any fucking decisions we don't even fucking know exist, mate. And until we go looking at them with our one little eye and just fucking go, oh, mate, come down here. Let's be having you. Till we do that, 
till we get rid of those bastards, we're all fucked. Except for, obviously, the people who are being paid good money for pretending that we're ruled. Boris Johnson, Rishi Sunak, Matt Waxock. All of these people are paid good fucking money. Let's not forget, Tony Blair. <coughs> Sorry. Tony Blair. And, what, £950 a week, a day as the leader of our country and £56,000 a day the day that he fucking left office he, his his earnings went up from under a grand to 56 grand every single fucking day as a financial advisor for JP Morgan literally look where the money is it's with the banks they waffling again anyway let's just see what happens with uh, old wank sock in i'm a slab eh? that'll be fun but basically do not give your money to save the children uk because save the children uk save the children anywhere or th th there are people in there that make a profit so you you can give your money it and it, it and if it makes you feel better that's no fucking you just know that you feel better because you're paying for somebody's fucking champagne bill at the Christmas party because your money can't physically touch the amount of money that actually goes we need to fucking work out a way where we make it so that these bastards don't ain't the people who decide what happens with our kids because it's only that when that we take the decisions out of their hands that our kids stand a fucking chance or us or our parents or our grandparents however old you are whatever however old your ancestors are this winter is going to be the winter of our discount tents because a lot of people are going to die and we can right now if we wanted to it's not going to happen but if we wanted to we could end it right now any old time that we wanted to end this we could end this because the people who are running this are the baddies and we're not. They're killing us and they're doing it for their own personal gain. And But unfortunately, we've been bred from the age of four to see these people as the only people that could rule us. We don't need ruling. We're perfectly fucking... We make all of the decisions, middle management downwards. We are the ones who make the world work. They just go, this one decision here. Everybody else makes it work for them. But it all works for them that makes the one decision. I'll make it make sense one day. Promise you. But I'm fucking... I'm... It... Kids shouldn't live in poverty. And Rishi Sunak doesn't give a shit. Because he doesn't even know what poverty means. And I can't even say it. We need to stop letting people who don't understand poverty put us in poverty. Does that make sense? I'll make it make sense. One day I'll make it make sense. We, not me... It's not me. We collectively will make it make sense because they don't deserve our souls and they don't deserve to be hurting our loved ones. And I'll leave it there and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.